Hello friends and welcome. This week we've had tragedy strike here at the homestead. Um, I had six egg laying chickens and I've kept them in a little coop that I bought from Tractor Supply, but I don't like keeping my chickens cooped up, pun intended. Uh, so I'd always open the door up and let them out. I'm generally outside with them. But one night we didn't close them up and we had some dogs that we don't know where they come from because in the neighborhood we're, we're at, the all the animals are usually inside of a fence. But these two stray dogs come up and they uh, chased my chickens and before I could get out here to them, they had done killed three of my six chickens. And when you grow them from hatchlings all the way up to full grown chickens, then you, you kind of become attached to them. Uh, I had one chick, her name was Henrietta. She would, she would come out every day and greet me. She would run up to me and you can kind of see where animals got a hold of her and killed her so i had to look on what i wanted to do i want my chickens to have room to run but i also don't want them to be in danger of some other animal coming up and attacking them so what i've done is i got on amazon and i've ordered a a chicken run uh, it came in two boxes i ordered it two days ago and here it is and today i'm going to show you how we uh, assemble this chicken run it's supposed to be very easy to do so let me get set up here and we'll find out how easy it is to do and we'll assemble it together all right well our package came delivered just like this um it also come with a some a packing list on it that shows us what's supposed to be in this box so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and and lay this out and unwrap it because you can tell things like this is all in that bubble wrap and i don't want to have a video of me just unwrapping stuff so let me lay it out and we'll come back and look at it again all right here's everything unboxed uh there's only a few different parts that we've got i've got the instruction manual right here which is it's only seven pages long so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this thing i'm gonna because my chicken coop over there is so heavy, I'm gonna assemble this around the coop where I don't have to move it too much. So the first thing we're gonna be looking for is our E1, E2, and F markers. So they're right here. Here's our E1s, which will go in the this corner down here and this corner up here then our a2s are going to go in just the opposite corners so we'll get them on the place them here and here i hope i'm staying in frame let me Got to move over just a little bit where I can stay in frame. And then we got to take our, our Fs. These are not labeled, but it's easy to tell from the description that this is going to be our F. We'll put these right here.
and then it doesn't tell us but it does have a picture that these are going to go right here in the middle now we're going to take our one bars and go this way and our two bars and go this way so let me here's the number one and if you look these things have these little quick connects so that makes it real good and forgive my hands it's this is, seems to be made out of really good material but it does rub off your hands a little bit so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just kind of show you here how let's see how easy these are to to connect we just slide them in there wow that connects really easy let's go ahead and put it over this let's get another number one and if you're wondering the chicken wire is actually wire it's not plastic and they've got it wrapped up in a cardboard to keep it from getting bent up so they took care in shipping to make sure that it was done done well all right let me do the other two over here I do have to say that this is going together really fast. All right, let me get some for number twos. Well, we're going to run them long ways. We're fixing the same, find out how big our piece is going to be. together really fast all right let me go put these on the other side See the true size of our chicken coop now, and I'm I'm pretty well pleased. I believe that's going to give my girls enough room to run around some more. So let's see what our next step is. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our number threes and we're going to put them in all the uprights. Here's our number threes. So, let me get a few of these. I'm just going to start placing them here.
Let me grab two more real quick. I'm really impressed at how quick this is going together. All right. The next thing we're going to do is take our D sections, which is these. And this is going to go in all the corners in the, this part right here is going to face on the inside. So we put all these in here. These are going to face this way. And the next thing we're going to do is have these ones that shape like a cross. We'll put them right here. And it says once again for me to use the number two pose to connect between the two. to bring my, my tape over this way just a little bit where it don't get caught in the or my run into over a little bit where it don't get caught in my coop. Now then I'm it says that we're gonna put our number threes running this way.
by the way, this coop on Amazon was $2.99. I keep calling it coop, and the chicken run. It had one that was uh, one section longer. I believe it was 18 feet long, while this is 12 foot long. It was $3.99. All right. Now then, I'm supposed to put these in here, just like what we did a while ago with the other ones. And this makes on the inside. Take a cross and put them in the middle. Now we're going to take some number twos and run them this way. Be a little more difficult for me because I've got my coop in the way. So I'll see if I can't get it. I'll try not to bang my coop. They've been stressed enough this week. I've got one chicken, you can tell she's stressed. She constantly crying. Want to know where her friends is at be pretty upset and I understand and I'm heartbroken about the whole situation I wanted my chickens to have a good life by being able to run around but you look what an idiot I am putting that on backwards I don't have many of you caught that before uh, before you see me point it out All right, now it says we're going to take our number threes and we're going to run them across this way. Just for reference, as I'm in here working, I'm five foot eleven, so you can kind of see how tall it is. It claims to be six and a half feet high. Looks like I've got plenty of headroom. All right, let's see what's next.
So it looks like for the next part, we're gonna be building the door. I'm gonna kind of bring you in a little bit closer as we do that. All right, for building our doors, it says we need two A's and two C's. See, here's an A. That one's not late yet, it is too. It's an A. Here is a, a C. And here is another C. All right, and it says we're gonna put them together using using these little clamps right here. Let me open them up. And then we got a bag of we got a bag of bolts. So we'll be using these clamps right here. They'll go to together like that and they sent us a little wrench. It was like a 12 millimeter and 14 millimeter. And then a bag of bolts here. So let me get these undone and lay them out and we'll put it together. So on our instruction list, it says we're gonna be using I, which is these, and K, which is the smaller boat. That's like some pretty large boats. Yeah, these are the smaller ones. So this has a hole through it. We're actually gonna line that hole up with that one. Get those boats out of the way. And what we'll do is we'll run this carriage boat through there. And then run it through this pipe, put another one on top of it, and just run that boat kind of tight. We're not going to tighten it down super tight. So we won't be able to run our other pole through here. get a washer. All right, now then what we can do is we can run a hole in there now. Like so. Actually, you know what? I won't turn this around where the, I could actually flip it around, but just for purpose, but it will show y'all. Turn it like that. And then we'll get our, when it's 12 millimeter, we'll just start, kind of want to make sure it's flush on there. We'll just tighten it down. It'll be good tight. I say that's good and tight also. Let's get a couple more of these in our boats and go down here on this end. I'm kind of top heavy, so I almost fell over there.
line this up for a pole. Just get the flush in there a little bit. Tighten it down. And there we go, we got our doorbell. Now let's go over here and build our frame for our door. Well, for building our door frame, it says that we need our little brackets again. So we'll get a couple brackets. And then we're going to be putting up the uh, the number fives. They're going to go up and down like this. So let me uh, set this down. I'm going to use my chicken cook to work with, make it a little easier. Bolt out, run it through that one. Run it through this side. And now, this time, before I put this side on, I'm actually going to run it through there. Otherwise, it's uh, it'll be real difficult to put on. Now we'll go ahead and do the bottom. Now this doesn't give a reference point anywhere on where I need to place this. So I'm just gonna kinda just kinda put it right there. Get my other pole. Give me my allergies is running today. Don't know why. We'll tighten all this up here in just a minute. Once we figure out where we want to go. And you could run your boats through the other way. I don't think it's hardly gonna matter. Now this helps us decide how long this is gonna be. Or where it's gonna sit. I figured it was gonna do that. At least it gets it down to a good working height for me.
So now then what I can do is now that I know how wide it is, I can kind of maneuver it where it should just about be in the center. I guess it has to be perfect, but we want it pretty close. And I ain't gonna tighten it up as tight as I can get it, but I do wanna kinda tighten it up enough that it'll quit sliding. I'm gonna go ahead and run it all the way up here as far up as I can get it. Until I get my door open. Now then, the next part is going to be our door, and we're going to be using these larger bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and set them out. right here. It says that this part right here is actually going to go on the door and it's just going to set down into the thing. And these parts right here are going to go onto the uh, to our rail in here. So let me get my door in here. about how it's going to set. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly put these on here. Experience doing chain link fences. This is not a. This time we're going to be using our 14 millimeter. Uh, this doesn't really matter so much where it sets. The main thing is, is it just lines up on the on that frame. Place these on here. They're gonna slide up and down, but it's all right till we can get it positioned. Uh oh. 
there's not a whole lot of playroom right here to thread this with. But I was able to get it. I'll let that one fall. I'm gonna tighten this up where it just quits sliding, but I'm not gonna tighten it down so tight that it's in a permanent position. All right, that one's on there. kind of adjust these to position we want it. I'm more interested in this having less room at the bottom, more room at the top. So I kind of so I kind of like that. And straighten it up just a little bit. So I'm kind of content where that's setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tighten this bottom one down a little bit more. Just a little bit.
pieces. So this part is going to run like this. Okay. I think we got it upside down. Yes, it goes like that. And then this part is gonna go behind here, just like this. Let's see which way this is going. Okay. That is going to fit just like that. This is gonna go back here like this, and then we gotta take our, our boat. I didn't bring. Tighten them up. Just give me this one second. Let me go grab them. Adjust it to height that's comfortable view, and that feels pretty good to me. Feels good and snug to me. Now, the way this thing works is it picks up. It, it's got pick up on it, then it slides up and it just drops down. So, so we definitely want to move our come back a little bit later with a level. More level this whole thing. I do not have this thing centered, but I kind of like it better on that. That way if I ever take it apart, I can always, once I cut my panels out, it would always be the same as my tube right there.
All right. Man, that feels pretty good. Let's see how. Open and close as well. I like it. Now, let's see what to do next. For the next part, we're gonna back up. And we're gonna lay the chicken wire over this. Let's See if I can find the start of this wire here. I got to remember to come back and pick that up. Or it'll be wrapped up in my lawnmower. be quite a bit easier with help but I've just got me out here right now so I rode all the way against my tripod But we're working on what we got.
convoy. All right, so what I did, I moved the camera to where, see what I'm gonna do. We've got the very end of our chicken wire. Let me get this fold out of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carry it right up underneath. And I'm gonna use the supply of zip ties. Just like that. Go down here on the other side. every so often down through here. It's applied plenty of zip ties. out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and just zip tie all this and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so now what I've done is I've went through here and I've, every six inches or so, I put a zip tie. And then I just kind of took it and just kind of pulled it a little bit tighter. So now what I'm going to do is I want to concentrate on this pole. I'm going to kind of pull it tight right here. And use a zip tie just to hold it in place. Hold it in place, I'm sorry. I'm gonna kinda pull it up tight and kinda pull it over a little bit. We're gonna run our cable through here after a while, but right now we're just gonna use a zip tie just to kinda mark it. There we go. Pull it up a little bit tighter. I'm gonna go through here. Start anchoring it down through this post. Just kind of pulling it tight. I'm not gonna do Quite as many as I did on the bottom, but I do just want to kind of pull it, keep it tight. So that's what I'm going to do until I get this whole run done. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we've got this row done. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to do that one and then 
I'll follow it up and do that one and that one. And then when I get down here to the bottom, uh, we'll come back to you and show what we're going to do next. Okay, so what I did is I only put three zip ties on each on each pole just enough to hold it and and get it good and tight while I get it situated now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna work on this bottom piece down here so this is where we're gonna have to do some cutting and so forth so what I want to do is I just kind of so far this has been the hardest part of it is the doing the chicken wire which I was kind of afraid it would be it's definitely been a, a tedious process everything pulled up under here I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it tight zip tight and then when I get done I'll come back and show you what we've accomplished all right okay so you'll see we pulled it tight and then about every six inches just put a another zip tie down there it's not perfect it's got a little bit of play in it but but it'll keep the hawks out so we're fixing to uh, go ahead and run another strand and do this one right here. We're gonna do it exactly the same way we did that. We're just gonna overlap it right here. 
So once I get it strained up, I'll show you. All right, so we went and put on the second panel here. But the thing is, is right here, say we overlapped it, because the minute we're gonna come through with wire and we're gonna swirl it around. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and work on these uh, on the end here and get it done. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it, instead of running it up and down, I'm gonna run it lengthways like that. See how that works. All right, I'll get back to you here in just a minute. All right, was able just to take it and just run it straight across here and and cut it off. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just kind of cut around the sides, kind of like what I did right here. And then here in a minute, we're gonna come and run our wire through here. But so that it's tall enough that it runs all the way across. So now I'm just gonna go over here to the other side and do it just like I did that one. And then cut it off. And then we'll wind up having to cut out for our doorway and stuff over here. And then we'll run the cables. So we've almost got it done. Like I said, this has been the hardest part. It's just a little bit time consuming, but it still has not been too bad. So I'll, when I get done, I'll show you some more. All right, so here, what we're gonna do is just gonna take this chicken wire and stand it up. And let me back up this a little bit. Maybe you can see just a little bit better. Try to get this to balance for just a minute. All right, so I just wanna take my edge and Line it up here on the bottom. So, give me a little zip tie through it just to hold it in place. Notice how I'm just using my head to hold it up. That's, said it's better if you have some help. Come up a little bit further and this in place. The least cutting I can do is better. Right, just pull it out here. And I want it just pressing on the bottom of it and I'm going to go ahead and take one more or maybe two more zip ties and Put it around here to hold it. In case you're curious, it comes with 250 zip ties, which is worth more than that. Uh... All right, now then.
All right, we cut this wire and gave us a gap between all of it to where now our latch will come up and opens right up. Now then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna work on running the wire through this. So I've got my, my wire here. It's got to be opened up. just gonna take the wire lay it down and we're just gonna just start start braiding it just gonna start working our way up through here Sorry about my dogs having a fit. this up as far as I can go with it and I'll tie it off and start again. I don't want to get out too much wire. Or it'll be too difficult to, to navigate. So I'm just going to keep doing this. And then I'll come back in a minute after I've got it all after I got it all done. Let me get this one piece done right here. So as I get to the end, I'm just gonna take it and just wrap it around itself. So, and then I'll cut this off and we'll finish it up like that. That way I don't have to pull off too much at one time. All right, if you look here, we just twisted this up and got it started and then just run it all the way up the poles. Did it on that one and, and on this one. I may come back here later and do it on the door uh but i'm not going to do that today but now then what i'm going to do is take our tarp and this ain't a tarp like uh you would buy a harbor freight it's actually a fabric like material so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it and we're going to unravel it and throw it over here Got the girls upset, don't you? 
take this and put up here this will allow them to shave. Now, what's happened is these have came with these little ties. So what we'll do is we'll just, we'll run that right there try to run it through here and then it should just slide over there like that let's do one more Slides over the ball. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this on, and then I'll show you whenever we get completely finished with it. All right, here it is, all completed. I'm real happy with it. It seems like it's just really sturdy. It seems like the chickens are very happy with it. They're able to get around and stay out of the elements a little more their house and I feel better knowing that that some stray dogs won't come up and and get them and also it's gonna give me more room to be able to hang a chain down and give them more room to have their food out where they can eat so I'm very pleased with the setup So uh, once again, thank you for joining me. And always remember, I love you and God loves you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.